Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. It's still a bit of a scorcher out there right now. We'll catch a little bit of a break tonight, but still going to be uncomfortable as it'll be warm and humid throughout the night tonight. And that break from the heat is just not there just yet. We have to wait a few more days before not only we slightly cool things down, but we also introduce the first round of some isolated rain chances back into the extended forecast. High rise satellite shows that we're mainly clear off to our west, but there is a swirl of just some high thin clouds over areas like just to the south of Lawrence and still over Osage City right now. And that's helped to shield the sun a little bit in those spots. Not the case though in Junction City. Nothing but blue skies, as you can see overhead Heritage Park right there. We're still seeing some high thin clouds here in the capital city, but we've also seen our temperatures drop slightly. We're down to 93 degrees now after reaching a high of 96 earlier, but it still feels just downright hot with a heat index of 103 in the capital city. Now, we're not the only ones contending with the heat. In fact, some air temperatures are still surpassing that triple digit mark. 101 for the Little Apple, 100 on the dot still for Clay Center. Upper 90s to our west as opposed to low to mid 90s to our east. But it's really that dew point that provides that difference. You'll see slightly less humid air off to our west. It's still humid, don't get me wrong, but the muggiest is this darker green you can see right over Hiawatha. 79 degrees for a dew point is just downright miserable right now, but it helps to balance out our heat index. It's still very hot, but all of us are feeling well above that triple digit mark right now across northeast Kansas. There's one plus side though, these southerly winds. They're at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, helping to stir up the air and provide some relief from the heat. So at least it's not a stagnant, humid, hot day. But those winds slightly die off tonight as well as our dew points. Still going to be a humid start tomorrow morning as you head out the door to get off to work around 8 a.m. But the trend we'll notice is. Once again, we'll see the higher humid or higher dew points for our eastern areas slightly lower off to our west, not only for tomorrow, but that's going to be the trend once again for Friday, and that's going to do pretty much the same thing for our heat index as we're seeing now. So for tomorrow, you can expect it to feel anywhere between 105 and 110 degrees, and a repeat offender sets up for Friday as well. And this actually spills over into Saturday. That's why this excessive heat warning for all of Northeast Kansas is set to expire Saturday evening at 8 o'clock. Again, mainly quiet, just a few high thin clouds, and even as we check out the entire sunflower state, there's nothing really coming our way, so just a few clouds expected for tonight as we drop off into the upper 70s. Some spots may wake up to temperatures in the low 80s for tomorrow. Now our KSNT Storm Track 7-day forecast shows triple digits for the next few days. Rain chances return late on Saturday, and a couple of isolated rain chances spill over into next week as well. The main takeaway is as that cold front pushes through, our temperatures drop off. So as you head out to start the brand new work week next week, we're going to trade out the triple digits for upper 80s, and I am all for it. Yeah, if we can just get through this week, just know next week will be 